Hi, welcome to a special edition, I guess, of Yarning at the Homestead. So I've been thinking about doing this for quite a while. Um, I'm gonna call it my deep stash dive. So I actually have quite a lot of stash. Um, you could call me a hoarder, I'm, I'm yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have been getting rid of most of my acrylic stash though. And <clears throat> so, yes. And that floppy floppy sleeves. Uh, today I'm not wearing any knitwear. Well, I am wearing knitwear. I am wearing my Empower cowl. Um, after yesterday's vote, maybe we all need to um, empower ourselves. So the Empower cowl, the yarn is by Neighborhood Fiber Co. And the pattern obviously is by Casapinka. It's free. Go to Empower, E-M-P-O-W-E-R people, I believe it is. I'll put it in the down bar. And there is a free knit and a free crochet. And I believe there's a free sewing pattern also. I have yarn to do the crochet version, but I just never got to it. Anyway, deep stash dive. I think I'm going to do this as short little deep stash dives. So a while ago, you can see that yellow. See that yellow one right there? That was a deep stash dive. And I brought it up on one of my podcast vlogs. I don't know what to call these. It's not really long enough to be a podcast, so vlogs. Um, and that is some British mohair that I got a long time ago. British, yeah, British mohair that I got a long time ago. Asking what should I do with it? So I was thinking about it. I should do, I was going to do like a deep stash dive. I've already videotaped this. It didn't tape. So I'm redoing it. And it's gotten a little darker now. So hopefully you can still see this. So here is my deep stash dive. This was my first indie purchase online, I believe. Um, I don't believe this dyer is dying any longer. I couldn't find her anywhere. She was from Austin, Texas. And the name of the dyer was Zen String. And this base is Lotus Toes. And it is a, it just says Superwash Merino Wool. And it's fingering, but I... I've got old lady eyes now. Cannot read that. I have no idea what the yardage is or anything like that. I think it's in my Ravelry, so that would be it. But the reason I bought this was because of this. It is called Secret Garden. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a variegated, because this was long before um, self-stripe was a thing. It's a variegated, and it's just gorgeous. I've done nothing with it except look at it and admire it. And I pulled it out of my stash a while ago, and I said, you know what? I think maybe I'm going to do something like a deep stash dive kind of thing. But I'm all about the themes. And the reason I got it, because it's called Secret Garden, because Secret Garden is and has been my favorite book since I was a child. I love the Secret Garden. And I just found out that, well, just found out a while ago, Angie of... Um, Angela of Yarn and Yarns, her favorite book is also The Secret Garden. So we seem to have be coming up with a lot of similarities. It's like she's called me her American twin. Yeah, she's uh, my, my British twin, um, but she's a lot younger than me. <laughs> so The Secret Garden was my favorite book. I do have a soft copy of it from, I believe it's Yearling. It's a, it's, it's a green cover. I will put a picture on at the end, but um, I believe it was in my library at school, and so it's all packed up and it's in my garage at the other house. So I bought myself a brand new copy, and I'm very, very, I love this copy. So it's a hardcover copy. This is a Barnes & Noble exclusive copy, and it's got some beautiful illustrations. Let's find. There's not a lot of illustrations. Um, look at all those pages I just went through and there's no illustration. But it's got some like very oldish, old looking illustrations. I don't know what you would call those. The illustrator is Charles Robinson. And I'll have to look. I don't know if he was the original illustrator or if this was added to. This is a 2015 volume. So I was very excited to buy it. I'm very excited to start reading it. It just came in. But I'm also very excited about this. So I had seen that The Secret Garden was coming out. I don't know what I was on, but I'm a huge, huge Colin Firth fan, like Colin Firth. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's doing The Secret Garden. He's playing uncle, the uncle. 
And he was in a previous Secret Garden, just like at the very, very end, he played the adult Colin. I think it was like the, in 1984. I think when I looked it up at IMDb, it's either 1984 or 1994. And he played the adult Colin. And, um... I'm very excited about this. I didn't think it was coming out till November, and then I happened to see it in Barnes & Noble last week, and of course I had to buy it. I have not watched it yet, because I also bought Shetland Season 5, and I marathoned that, because I also really love Shetland. Um, but the other really cool thing is this advent calendar, and I gotta stop playing with it because I'm popping the things. This advent calendar is also a secret garden themed. So this is from Nora, I think it's Nora George, um, in England. And this is a Secret Garden themed advent calendar. So I'm so excited. As soon as I saw that, as soon as I saw that pop up, I was like, oh, okay. Because then I got to pay the shipping from England. <laughs> but I was so excited when it came in the other day. And I'm like itching to open it. But I will wait. I will wait. So I'm all about a theme. So anyway, so my deep stash dive is this, my Lotus Toes from Zen String in the Secret Garden. It's really not the softest. It's not the softest, um, but I think it's gonna be beautiful and I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? So what do you think of these deep stash dives? Should I stay with a theme? I won't be able to do a theme for everyone, but I had to do a theme for this one and especially for Angela because it's a secret garden theme. All right, so um, I'm very excited. I have some new subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for giving me a like and a subscribe. And I hope you like what you see and you come back. Uh, I still have, you know, a ways to go. I don't understand some of these uh, people have podcasts and they have like three you know, three, um, three, three episodes and they've got like thousands and thousands and thousands of views. Where do they get all those views from? <laughs> they haven't built up a following for years. But anyway, I just do this for fun. Yes, it is nice to know I'm not just talking to myself, but I do do this for fun. Um, and yeah, so give me another like. Maybe put a comment down below. We'll see how long this takes to load up because it is now at mm, seven and a half minutes. We'll see how long this takes. All right. So I hope you stop by again. And again, thank you for coming by. Thank you. I'm going to sneeze to my previous subscribers. <laughs> Excuse me. And <coughs> 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 to my previous subscribers, excuse me, and thank you to my new subscribers. And I'm gonna go on that. <laughs> Look how red my face is, <laughs> bye.